Hello, today I introduce you CIE H12, IO Device Server in Solar Systems. IO Device Server monitors and controls digital input port or digital output port over the internet. First, let's take a look at its hardware specifications. The size of the product is 96mm by 57mm, 24mm in height and the weight is about 68 grams. There is a dry contact method and wet contact method for the input port. In case of dry contact method, switch can be used for signal input. Also, in case of wet contact, more than 1.8 voltage is recognized as high and lower than 1.2 voltage as low. There is one output port with built-in relay. The maximum allowable relay is DC 28 voltage 5 ampere, including when it's at peak. Additional power relay is required for AC control. IO or network status of the product can be identified with LED. The power is DC5 voltage. There is a LAN port for network communications and ISP switch for firmware and HTML upgrades. Simply enter the product IP in your web browser and access to the built-in web server to monitor and control. In this case, you can create your own web page. Also, monitoring and controlling is possible with a mobile application provided by Solar Systems. With Modbed software, you can monitor and control multiple products at the same time from a single monitor. Monitor and control value of the multiple I.O. products from one configuration screen and create the screen as you desire with IDIS 200. According to the configurations of CIE H12, configuration of the internet switch, which transmits value of the input port to output port at a remote site, is possible. Modbus TCP protocol is used for communications with product. Users can develop their own program. Also, there is macro function which calculates the value of the input port according to the calculation placed specifically and reflects it to the output port. For detailed information, visit ezt.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel.